In Unit 4, we will familiarize ourselves with the appraisal of references. This unit is divided into six sections. Section 1. Citability Citability is a consequence of the academic principle traceability. The principle of traceability requires that research output is presented in a documented way allowing for the reproduction of conclusions by third parties. Citability means that a reference is citable in a scholarly context. A reference has to meet each of the following three criteria in order to be citable. First, a reference is citable if it has been published. Typically, publication takes place via a publishing company. In some cases, the publisher can be a credible institution as for example a university or an organization such as the United Nations, the World Bank, the European Central Bank, etc. Self-published literature is citable if its identifiability and checkability, as explicated by the following two criteria, has been verified. Second, a reference is citable if it is identifiable. Identification can take place via ISBN, ISSN or DOI. ISBN stands for International Standard Book Number and is used for the identification of books. ISSN stands for International Standard Serial Number and is used for the identification of journals and serials. DOI stands for Digital Object Identifier and is used for the identification of electronic documents. Identifiability can also be achieved by describing a reference with distinct information such as name of author, title of reference, name and address of publisher, place of publication, date of publication, etc. Third, a reference is citable if it is checkable. Checking can take place by accessing the document in a library, in a database or as attachment. Libraries provide access to references in print and or electronic form. Public or commercial databases provide access to references in print and or electronic form. References can also be attached to research papers in print and or electronic form. Section 2. Credibility Credibility means that a reference has a certain reputation or trustworthiness. There are a number of criteria and corresponding indicators that help to form an opinion about the credibility of a reference. Target group If a publication aims at the academic community as its target audience, it signals academic credibility. In contrast, publications addressing target groups such as practitioners or the general public are not considered credible in an academic sense. Accordingly, publications such as daily newspapers, news magazines or popular scientific literature miss the rigor and intersubjective comprehensibility of academic references. Publishing Context the reputation of the publisher and or the standing of the book series or academic journal where a reference has been published may help to identify the quality of a reference. Quality certainty The existence and composition of an editorial board as well as the type and extent of an editorial process may assist with determining the quality of a reference. In particular, the existence of a peer review process signals credibility. Author's background. The function, position, education, degrees and institutional background of the author of a publication may act as indicators for the academic credibility of the reference. Section 3. Peer Review. As pointed out, the existence of a peer review process signals quality of an academic journal. A typical peer review process could be organized as follows. An author submits an article to the editorial office of an academic journal for publication. 
The editorial office sends an anonymized version of the article to a first referee, a peer, who is an accredited scholar in the field of knowledge addressed in the article. The first referee appraises the article and sends the first review to the editorial office of the academic journal. If the first review is positive, the editorial office of the academic journal sends the anonymized article together with an anonymized version of the first review to a second referee. Again, the second referee is an accredited scholar in the field of knowledge addressed in the article. The second referee appraises the article and the first review in order to write a second review for the editorial office of the academic journal. If the second review is positive, the editorial office of the academic journal forwards the article, the first review and the second review to the editorial board, which decides whether and when the article will be published in one of the upcoming issues of the journal. Due to the fact that the names of the author and first referee are anonymous, the process is called a double-blind peer review. The intention of the process is to achieve a high degree of impartiality. However, in some fields of knowledge, specific orientations of research are associated with particular authors, who are typically known to the referees. Hence, the anonymity of the process and impartiality of the referees might be questionable. Furthermore, the complexity of the appraisal procedure is time-consuming and slows down the overall publication process, which in some cases may take months or even years. This is one reason why some researchers initially publish their findings as working papers. Again, the existence of a working paper similar to the submitted article may contradict the intention of a double-blind peer review. Section 4. Citation Indices A citation index is an index based on a database that collects and processes citations of authors in order to provide information regarding the importance of authors in a discipline. Examples of citation indices are Social Science Citation Index, I-10 Index, H-Index and G-Index. Whether these and other citation indices provide an additional benefit for the appraisal of references is questionable. Particularly authors with few articles and few citations, as well as authors with new articles, which have not spread yet, might be discriminated. Citation indices are academic phenomena, which may be important to scholars who compete for research grants and third-party funds and or academic prestige. Section 5 Journal Rankings An option of appraising the quality of a journal article is the use of journal rankings. A journal ranking is a table that lists academic journals according to their perceived importance. A well-known example of a journal ranking is the Journal Impact Factor, JIF, also referred to as Impact Factor. In its basic form, it is defined as the number of citations in a given year that reference articles of the preceding two years divided by the number of articles of the preceding two years. The JIF can only be calculated for closed calendar years. A sample calculation illustrates the logic of the JIF. The number of citations in 2014 that reference articles published by Journal X in 2012 and 2013 is 300. The number of articles published by Journal X in 2012 and 2013 is 200. Hence, the JIF of Journal X in 2014 is equal to 300 divided by 200 is equal to 1.5. It has to be noted that one should use journal rankings carefully as their validity and reliability has been questioned by academia. Section 6. Grey Literature 
Gray literature is a commonly used term which, generally speaking, refers to literature that is not commercially published and distributed. Metaphorically speaking, white literature could refer to literature that is credible. Black literature could refer to literature that is not credible. However, some types of literature cannot unambiguously be characterized. This literature is referred to as gray literature. Typical originators of gray literature are governmental or non-governmental bodies and organizations, academic and research institutions, as well as companies and business associations. Examples of gray literature are, amongst others, working papers, conference proceedings, technical papers, consultation papers, white papers, green papers, manuals, legal documents, leaflets, brochures, financial statements, and business reports. However, the prerequisite for referencing gray literature is that the three criteria of citability are satisfied. This implies that the references are published, identifiable, and checkable.